Hi, it's Karen at RT Systems. Here today to talk to you about the programming for the new M1 radio from Rugged Radios, such an exciting new race radio. So many new features, and I want to show you where to find a lot of that in the program. So you get the program, you get it downloaded and installed, you open it up, and you've programmed other radios, but this one you take one look at it and go, where do I put anything into it? It's not at all like the RH5R V2 where you have all these lines you put things into. It's not at all like the programmer for the RM60 Again, where you have all these channels you can put things into. It's a different layout. It's a different format. This radio thinks a little differently, and there's some things that are really important. But that doesn't mean I can't use information from another programmer. I'm going to come over here to my RH5R file. And be aware, all this 440 will not copy over. The M1 is a 2 meter only, which means it does the frequencies in the 150s. I'm going to just click on the first one, Control A, Control C. I'm going to reach over here and I'm going to paste. And just that quick and easy, I have all the channels just like in my RH5RV2. If you have frequencies that you want to put in, let's say you use 152.535, you must put a name on it. This is the pit crew. And we want to put 152.540. And this is the chase car. And 152.550. And this is the other cars. So you see, you can just type them in. You must have a name. As long as they're FM, that's all you need is the frequencies that it's FM and the name. The rest of this, while it's great, is not terribly important for what you're doing at this point. We're going to save this file before we leave the screen and stay with me because the next thing I do is more important than what I've already done. So real quick, file save as, and we'll just call this test file. Now it's saved. And what is more important are these zones. And notice this page is blank. Without something on this page, your radio never knows it has anything here. The two of them work together. It's not hard. It's just something you need to be aware of. So we'll go to zones and we'll name this first zone race racing. And we'll click on edit. And that was these three channels down here at the bottom. Now, this radio has an A band and a B band. And although it displays them one at the time, you don't want to bump a button and all of a sudden end up in the B band and not have your frequencies. So I would recommend while you're in here, put the same ones in B. Now this is a general group. And again, we click edit. And now I want weatherman. I want rugged one. And I want rugged two. And I want rugged three. And I want Rugged four. And again, do the same thing on this side. I want 
weatherman, want rugged one, rugged two, rugged three, rugged four. And those are all now in this group. You get the idea. I'm sorting them out into groups that they're usable. You may just want to put an all group and start at the top and just add them. There are 64 channels to a group. It'll let you know when you run out. And come over here and just add them. And then they're not all displayed across the screen at any time. If you want to check what's in a group, just click Edit, and you'll see what's in the group. If, for some reason, I wanted Rugged 1 to be the first one in this group, I would move up. Because maybe on my other radio, it's the first channel. And everybody knows to go to channel 1. It is now on channel 1. Not because of where it is in this list, but because of where it is in this list. Again, do the same thing over here. Move it up. Now your A and B match. And if you move from one to the other unexpectedly, they'll still match. Memories and zones that are important. Let's talk about a few other features on that radio. Let's go to settings and radio menu settings. And I'm going to be talking about these radio buttons. These are the buttons on the front of the radio. The gear, the AB, the P1, P2, TXT, and lock button. They're set in my file. The gear takes me into the menu. And there are a lot of things you can do in this menu. The lock brings me back out. Because that's return. It returns me from the menu. Let's talk about this AB button. Remember when I was setting up zones, I explained to you you needed to put the same thing in A that you put in B. And here's why. You notice there's an A right here on the screen. Well, all that means is that it's analog. I'm talking about this A right down here. And I want you to pay attention. I'm on channel three. And I have an A. And I have a B. And notice here I'm in channel one. And here I'm on channel three. That's why I had you put the same channels in both of them. While you may change channels, at least you can then turn the knob and get back to where you want to be. If I hold A, B, I will get this all alerts, tones on and off. In the program, I can change that to do something else. These are all menu items for the radio. P1 channel is channel 1. Notice right here I've changed to channel 1. P2 is channel 2. I've changed to channel 2. TXT is messages. The long hold is single dual band, and you saw that come on at the top of the radio. Lock is return. But if you press and hold the lock, it locks the radio. Now I can't do anything. It just keeps telling me it's locked. Press and hold again, and it unlocks it. You can see what they're going to be doing, and you can change it to another menu item that might be important for you. Have fun. Drive carefully. Enjoy that new radio. It's going to get you a long way.
We're here to answer questions. This is Karen, 73s.